I just made a video up there where that old bridge used to be in the boat ramp. And I thought while I was here, I'd come down and see if I could find that old, where the jail sat back in the 1800s. This road up here was real busy. That pump mill was right up there. A lot of road noise. I hadn't been over here in three or four years. I, when I was little in elementary school, we used to come by this way going to the creek swimming, and I can remember when the walls were standing. You could see where the wonders were. It <clears throat> wasn't a big jail. I'd say about 20 foot across that way, and 30 that way and on this back side I was over here back in the 70s and the foundation was still there it was several bricks thick and back in here there was an iron ring in the floor where they changed the prisoners down I don't know if they had locks on the doors and bound to have them. <clears throat> but this depression around the edge of where the wall stood. Over the years, people come over here getting bricks for souvenirs. And this is where they kept that old outlaw James Copeland. <clears throat> they hung him over here in 1857 <clears throat> and I've heard tales that when he was going to the gallows he told them he could see the place where they buried the treasure and so them stories has passed down through the years and I don't know why anybody would be digging at the jail for treasure but there's just a few bricks left Old handmade bricks. This jail was built in 1847. <clears throat> and just up that way was the courthouse. And years ago, a team from the local university came over here and did an archaeological dig. And they found some bricks up there where it was a sidewalk or steps. And they dug all over this place. Back over in there, there's a little branch they even went over to the other side of it. But it's a shame this place is gone. It would have been a good historical place to preserve. Back in the 50s and 60s, it don't seem like anybody was interested in that. Well, I'll see you next time.